My name's Maya Rose Craig and I love nature. Can you picture a world without trees, without flowers, without plants? Can you picture a world like that? I'm going to read you a story called The Promise, written by Nicola Davies and illustrated by Laura Carlin, that tells a story of a world like that. When I was young, I lived in a city that was mean and hard and ugly. Its streets were dry as dust, cracked by heat and cold, and never blessed with rain. A gritty yellow wind blew constantly, scratching round the buildings like a hungry dog. Nothing grew, everything was broken, and no one ever smiled. The people had grown as mean and hard and ugly as their city. And I was mean and hard and ugly too. I lived by stealing from those who had almost as little as I did. My heart was as shriveled as the dead trees in the park. And then, one night, I met an old lady in a dark street. She was frail and alone, an easy victim, and her bag was fat and full. But when I tried to snatch it from her, she held on with the strength of heroes. To and fro, we pulled the bag until at last she said, if you promise to plant them, I'll let go. What did she mean? I didn't know or care. So I said, all right, I promise. She loosened her grip at once and smiled at me. I ran off without a backward look, thinking of the food and money in her bag. But when I opened it, there were only acorns. I stared at them, so green, so perfect, and so many, and understood the promise I had made. I held a forest in my arms, and my heart was changed. I forgot the food and the money, and for the first time in my life I felt lucky, rich beyond my wildest dreams. I slept with the acorns for my pillow, my head full of leafy visions, and in the morning I began to keep my promise. I planted beside roads on roundabouts, among rubble, ruins and rusty railings, by train tracks, tram lines and traffic lights in abandoned parks and gardens laced with broken glass, behind factories and shopping malls, at bus stops, cafes and blocks of flats. I pushed aside the mean and the hard and the ugly, and I planted, planted, planted. Nothing changed at first. The gritty wind still scratched the parched, cracked streets. People scowled and scuttled to their homes like cockroaches. But slowly, 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 shoots of green began to show. Trees. First here, then there, then everywhere. People came onto the streets to see. They touched the leaves in wonder and they smiled. They took tea together by the tiny trees. They talked and laughed. And pretty soon, they were planting too. Trees and flowers, fruit and vegetables, in parks and gardens, on balconies and rooftops. Green spread through the city like a song, breathing to the sky, drawing down the rain like a blessing. But by then, I was already far away, planting in another sad and sorry city and another, and another, and another. And last night in a lonely alley, a young thief fought me for my sack of acorns. I smiled and made an old bargain, knowing how a heart can change, knowing my planting will go on. Could you feel how cold and dead the world was without nature? 
I hope this story inspires you to go out and plant some acorns of your own and work to make this world a greener space. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>